watching Friday Night Hoops with KCCI. Like it. Grooving. You know who else is riding along? Indianola, a nine-game winning streak. The last team to beat them, Norwalk. And guess who came to Indianola tonight? Yeah, Norwalk back in town, and that means you got to deal with the state's leading scorer. The one and only Bowen Bourne, nearly 40 points per game. He's headed to you and I. Within the first five seconds of this one, he realizes there's not a guy right up in his face, so he makes Indianola pay. He had two threes in the first 30 seconds of the game. Tice Johnson's a baller for the Indianola Indians. He was hitting early as well. Norwalk, so many weapons. Tyler Johnson, watch this. He's going to get the board and watch the six foot four senior go. They're going to foul him. It don't matter. Gets that one in and one. Norwalk built an early lead. Bowen was not only hitting his threes, but hit that patented running hanger. 70-60. Norwalk goes two for two against Indianola. And what a game in Waukee. The Warriors in white, undefeated. Trail Valley by three at the buzzer. And watch this. Peyton Sanford, actually 10 seconds to go. Sanford, Sanford ties it at 59. And that would send the game to overtime. Because Valley couldn't score at the buzzer in the regulation. But in the OT, Ty Walker gets hot, puts him up by six. Valley hits their free throws. And they hand Waukee its first loss of the season. Valley wins 77 to 72. Hoover at Lincoln, Ben Badger is ready. First bucket of the game comes from this sweet pass right here. Backing his man down and backdoor cut. Nate Feller to Cam Young, rails on the board. Hoover hitting from deep early. Chase Henderson not going to miss many of those wide open shots. Huskies had an early lead, but a big night from Lincoln gives the rail splitters a 63-47 win. Well, Friday Night Hoops, a little you make the calls in order, and fellas, take it away. Respectfully, please. Hey, we're a bunch of eighth graders. We go to Northview. We're not supposed to be in this building, but... We came to watch Colin McLear light it up from three. Uh, and Geront, he, he's a buck. It was a great halftime show, great performance by the People PE class, and it helped include kids with disabilities. Fourth quarter, Centennial's pressing, Kelling pops a tray, nothing but net, Jags up 20. Now Colin McLear has the ball, fires from Ames, and hits, woo is right. Ames not making shots, Centennial blocking the rest. Jags roll to a big win, and that's you make the call. Shout out 515 Mixtapes. Oh, oh. Well done, look at that stare. Thanks, fellas. Johnson versus Dowling, Michael Keough and one. Johnson on the move, sweet pass to Simon Daniel. And Simon, all sorts of space. Johnson with a nice win over a good Dowling team, 60 to 55. We're gonna talk wrestling up next.